Hey everyone, it's Johnny from Vertija. With all the hype around generative AI, I've noticed that a lot of marketing content out there is getting more and more generic. So in the next 11 minutes, I wanna show you how marketers can leverage AI agents without sacrificing quality for quantity. We'll go through real examples of how marketers can move faster, work smarter, and still create material that resonates. <music> All right, so in the next 11 minutes, I'll show you three unique AI agents that are going to assist you and your team to ensure that you're delivering the best marketing content possible in a fraction of the time. So in the first two use cases, we'll look at how AI agents can create months worth of content that goes way beyond a lot of the generic AI content that's out there right now. And then I'll show you an agent that specializes in analyzing complex website data to improve your strategy going forward. Now for each use case, I'll show you everything a marketer needs to do, the type of content you can expect from this agent, and then we'll evaluate how the agent performed. Now before we dive in, let me set the stage. So imagine we're a lean marketing team that manages a huge number of ophthalmology brands across the US. Our current focus is on building relevant content around the communities our brand service, and my team is currently using tools like ChatGPT, Gemini, even Claude, but we're having trouble scaling this without the content getting watered down. Okay, so moving on, let's go to the first use case. The first thing we need are relevant and timely topics. So this needs to be engaging content that will actually provide results and not just fill out our content calendar with noise. Now in this instance, we're focusing on one of our brands near Richardson, Texas. And so I'm gonna show you everything that a marketer would need to do in order to get this agent running. The app we're looking at now is powered by the Vertija platform. We use this specific interface along with a lot of our customers, but in reality, these agents can be integrated into any platform you're using today, whether they're being directly called by a business user or they're being triggered as part of an existing workflow. Now, while it might look like ChatGPT, there is a lot more to it, and for today, We'll look at the customizable AI services you can access here. So let's take the prompt that we're using and you'll see we're asking the agent to research the Richardson, Texas area and come up with some concepts that will resonate with the audience there. And we'll kick it off. Now, unlike a lot of the generic chat interfaces out there, these instructions are passed to an agent that has additional guidance and context for your brand behind the scenes to make sure that it's customized exactly as your brand needs. You'll see on the left, the agent actually creates a plan for itself and then it follows and adjusts those steps as needed along the way. And you'll see the agent is done and it shows all of its work in an audit trail. So this can answer any questions about the specifics of what the agent did. And then at the end of that, you'll see a summary as well as any documents that it created. So let's take a quick look at the output. So we have a ton of really good ideas for blog posts and for social posts. And we also have the agent's reasoning behind why it chose these specific ideas. So time to evaluate it. Now, when I was evaluating this first output, I was really asking two questions. Were the topics relevant? And were these quality ideas that actually fit together into a plan? So the goal was to ensure that these weren't random generic ideas that looked good on the surface, but were, you know, generic as soon as you started to look a little deeper. So I want to show you an example that pleasantly surprised me, which is Sunnyfest. So to be honest, when I looked at this initially, I thought Sunnyfest in Sunnyvale sounded made up. Now, to my surprise, I researched the festival and the town. The festival is real. The town is real and it's only a short drive from our audience in Richardson, Texas. Now also notice that in the plan it created, it tied together a blog post about the festival as well as tweets to accompany this blog post at the time this festival is going on. Now I found similar complimentary pieces of content for various channels throughout the entire marketing plan. So I would say that this first use case checked the box for what we were looking for. So now that we have our ideas, it's time to actually create this content. So what does someone on your team need to do in order to turn these ideas into fully finished curated content? 
all you'll need is to select three inputs. You'll select the content plan that we just looked at, the brand guidelines that we want it to follow, and then a document that is full of past examples of our very own content to ensure it's consistent with our usual content we're producing. We're gonna go ahead and launch the agent. And now you may have noticed that the input for this agent was different from the first one we ran. So how marketers interact with agents and what they need to do to achieve their goal is fully customizable. So if you wanted to add an additional prompt with more directions or a list of you know, doctors to mention in these blog posts based on the location, all of that can be reconfigured in less than 10 minutes. So we see the agent finished and you'll see it created 10 blog posts. So let's click on the one it created for Sunnyfest. We'll see it's within our guidelines, it looks like, of 750 to 1,000 words. And it also focuses on things like including medical term keywords, as well as a call to action, which is all stuff that was instructed in the brand guidelines. Now let's quickly look at what it did for X to give you an idea of what you can expect for social posts. You'll notice these are you know quick and snappy, just like we would expect for this platform. So how did the agent do? Let's look at the first question we're asking when evaluating the second use case. So did it follow through and create detailed, relevant content that was on brand? I would say 100% yes. The blog posts were engaging, they were relevant to the audience around Richardson, and they also matched the voice and the tone of the examples the model was given. And then the posts on X also fit perfectly with the blog post, so you can imagine the blog post going out one week before the festival and then the tweets happening leading up to and during the festival. So it was exactly what I was expecting. Now the next one, how did it do at sticking to the brand guidelines? So I checked this personally and I didn't notice any major discrepancies. So that was, that was good. But to be more thorough, I also ran a separate AI agent with instructions to grade how well this content building agent did. Now overall, it scored this content building agent as a 90% when looking at how well it's stuck to the guidelines. So overall, I would say this definitely passed the evaluation for the second use case as well. So let's jump into the last use case. Here we will give an AI agent website analytics in the form of raw data stored across a bunch of different Excel files and spreadsheets. Now these specific examples are exports from SEMrush and Google Analytics, but in reality, data from anywhere can be used and we can even connect this data through an API. It's just whatever your business wants to do, we can connect to the data that way. Now here's the prompt we'll give this agent. We're asking this agent to analyze our website data, find what can be improved, and then create a plan to make those improvements. So let's kick it off. And so just like before, the agent will go to work on this task. I'll probably go answer some emails, check some other items off my to-do list. And when I come back, you know, 10 to 15 minutes later, the agent should be done. So the agent is finished and you'll see three documents created. So one is an audit for the website's current status. The next one lists areas for improvement. And then the last one is a plan for those improvements it's recommending. So let's open up the recommendations document and see what we got. So it found technical SEO issues in the data. These are things like issues with certain pages not being indexed and a significantly lower site speed than our competitors. Now scrolling down, you'll see it also analyzed keywords that are used by us and our competitors, and it identified content gaps that we can pursue moving forward. And now there's also information about how to improve the customer experience, and then at the bottom, you'll see the overall recommendations it's giving. So time to evaluate. I wanna look at how well the agent analyzed the data we gave it, as well as the conclusions it came to and the recommendations it made. So regarding analyzing the existing data, so it identified a ton of great insights. Two are listed here as examples. So it found the locations page on the website is frequently visited, but the page is performing poorly when it comes to site speed. Now, if you tie that with the second issue it found about poor performance leading to higher bounce rates, I would say that's exactly the kind of knowledge that we're trying to gain from this analysis. And now this last example shows something we already touched on in the report, but I think it's worth reiterating. So just from analyzing the data we gave it, the agent identified that our site speed is slower than our competitors. And then it also found a great opportunity around content with keywords related to eye disease symptoms. So 
this is exactly the type of insights that I was hoping this agent would find. And when you look at this analysis, along with everything else we've seen today, from creating highly relevant topic ideas to actually turning these concepts into well-structured, engaging content, I would definitely say that this is on par with what could be expected from a highly skilled, experienced marketer. Now, these types of agents are not meant to replace marketers. What they are meant to do is act as a tool to give you and your team more time to spend on being creative, identifying the best opportunities and strategies, and ultimately make your entire team more efficient across all of their activities. And that's all I've got for today. If this seems like something that could add value to what your team is currently doing, send us an email and we'll get back to you within 24 hours.